morning. The writer in uh, Psalm 116 has obviously experienced life at its worst. He writes that uh, whatever it was that befell him, he has suffered pain and distress and anguish as a result. And he, and he was finally spared from whatever it was he was facing. And this psalm is an expression of his gratitude to God. That is the theme of today's scripture reading. We do not shy away from the suffering of life. To do so would be to live a shallow existence. But we are never shy to express gratitude for the joy and the love that we have experienced. Let's hear Psalmist gratitude as we read Psalm 116 verses 1 to 4 and 12 to 19. <clears throat> I love God who has heard my voice and my supplication. Because God listens to me, therefore I will call on God as long as I live. The snares of death encompass me, the pangs of shoal laid hold on me, I suffer distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of God, O oh God, I pray, save my life. What shall I return to God for all God's bounty to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Most High. I will pay my vows to God in the presence of all God's people. Precious in the sight of God is the death of the faithful ones. O oh God, I am your servant. I am your servant, the child of your woman's servant. I have loosed my bonds. I will offer you a thanksgiving sacrifice and call on the name of the Most High. I will pay my vows to God in the presence of all God's people, into the courts of the house of God, in the midst of old Jerusalem. Hallelujah. <clears throat> the first uh, letter of Peter picks up the theme of gratitude and suggests that the way we live, uh, the way we live gratitude is to be obedient to the truth we have been given, and to live as a community that expresses its gratitude through love and compassion. Again, it can be argued, even from the passage we are about to read, that the love and the compassion we are to share is not an easy thing, easily accessed, but love and compassion, which was perceived and experienced through deep struggle and suffering. We turn to the first letter of Peter and read in chapter 1, verses 17 through 23. Since you call upon a father mother who judges all people according to their actions without favoritism, you should conduct yourself with reverence during the time of your dwelling in the strange land. Live in this way, knowing that you were not liberated by perishable things like silver or gold, from the empty lifestyles you inherited from your ancestors. Instead, you were liberated by the precious blood of Christ, like that of a flawless, spotless lamb. Christ was chosen before the creation of the world, but was only revealed at the end of time. This was done for you, who through Christ are faithful to God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory. So now your faith and hope should rest in God. As you set yourself apart by your obedience to the truth, so that you might have genuine affection for your fellow believers, love each other deeply and earnestly. Do this because you have been given new birth, not from the type of seed that decays, but from seed that doesn't. This seed is God's life, giving an enduring word. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. 